Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the final legal document and that will be the contract of employment. I say final because I would have already done a video on legal documents and then I'll be doing two examples of legal documents. I did one in another video and I'll link it above known as will with endorsement where I did that video on legal size paper. I would have said that for this subject, we'll, we can use either A4 paper or legal paper to do the legal document. So the will with endorsement video was done on legal paper and this video for a contract of employment will be done on A4 paper. All right, now I have a blank document in front of me and I'm going to do some default things once we enter Microsoft Word and before we start typing our legal document. I'm then going to show you another document that I have and together we're going to format that to suit what the contract of employment should look like once it is typed. All right, so we're now in Microsoft Word. Some default things that we should be doing is that we should go on no spacing. Now after we have done that, then we need to select Times New Roman font size 12. Alright, we need now to go to page layout and we're going to change the paper size to A4. By default it would be on letter size. And then next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to adjust our margins. So we're going to go to margins and go to custom margins. Now there are two margins that we have to set. We have to set the margin for page one and the margin for page two. So the margin here for page one, it says that the top margin can be either 1.5 or 2 inches for page one. I'm going to leave it at... 1.5 inches all right the left margin will be 1.5 and in my other video on the general overview of legal documents i would have explained why the left margin will be 1.5 and the right margin will be 0 0.5 all right and that is because the document will be bounded from the left and so we have to put some extra space so that when it is bounded, the information can still show on the page. All right, so top is 1.5, left is 1.5, right is 0 0.5, and the bottom margin is 1 inch. And we go down and apply to whole document, and we press OK. Now our page 1 margin is set. If you can look here on the ruler bar, you see the wider. The left margin is wider than the right margin. Just look in that blue section there. Then I'm going to press the enter key and that is going to take me to page 2. Once the cursor hits page 2, I am going to go back to margins, go to custom margin, and I'm going to change around some margins. So the margin for the top margin for page 2 should be at 2 inches. Alright. For page 1, it could have been 2 inches as well. It could have been 1.5 or 2. So if you want to keep it 2 constant, that is up to you. Now, what we do for page 2 is that we switch around the margins, the left and the right margin. And why we do that is because the legal document is printed back, we will call it back and front. Alright. So the information is printed on the back of the page. And because it is printed on the back of the page, and I mentioned earlier that the left side of the page will be bounded. If the left side of the page one is bounded, and you should, if you should take a paper and do that, have that paper, put it in your hand. On the left side, you put your hand there as a clamp, and you turn the back of it, you will see that although the first page, the margin is wider, for the back page, the, mar um, the information will be clamped. Right, and so we have to switch around the margin so that when we bound the document, both front and back 
as it relates to the page will have that extra space and nothing will be clamped in the document. All right, so we switch around the margins. So now we'll have um, left margin being 0 0.5 and the right margin being 1.5 for page 2. And we will select apply to and we see this point forward. All right, and we press OK. So you realize now that for the page 2, the left margin is at 0 0.5 and the right margin is at 1.5. It is now switched for page 2. And if I should scroll back up on my page 1 and I put the cursor there, you realize that the left is wider than the right. So both our margins have now been set. Now we can start our typing. Well, another thing that we need to do is to let me go into the header and I'll double click to get there. And I'm going to select different first page. Now, why would I select different first page? Right, I select different first page because I'm going to put in the header the name of the document and the name of the person who is typed in the document. And that is important because it should be on all 10 pieces in the portfolio to receive two marks. To have it on five to nine pieces of the document, you receive one mark. And to have it on less than five pieces of the document, you will receive no mark. And that should be on the page one. Now for this document, it will be on two pages and it can go further. All right, and so if it is on two pages, for example, that information that I just spoke of should be on my page one, and then on my page two, I have the numeral two. All right, so now that I have selected different first page, I'm going to place the name of the document in the header, and in this case, it is a contract of employment. I'm going to tab over and write my name, all right, or a name. So it showed in Malcolm. I'm going to highlight this because as you can see, it's not in Times New Roman nor font size 12. And I'm going to put it as such. All right, I don't want this name to be so far in the margin. All right, so there is good. Okay, and I can quickly at the same time go down to my page 2 and put the numeral 2 on the page because I know that the document that I'm typing will go on two pages. Alright, so now I can come out of the header. So I'm all set now to start my typing. There the cursor is ready for you to start your typing. Alright, I'm going to quickly go on the other document that I have and I'm just going to take some of the information and as you can see the document here that I have it is now in I type the document, all right? It is in single line spacing. Now let us go through quickly and format this a bit. We should ensure that our date, etc., is in capital letters or starts with capital letters and there is absolutely no punctuation in the document. So let us quickly scroll through to see how that is looking. I think December should be capital D, 2020, capital T. All right, and quickly, anti Mary Moon, comma, St. James. So there should be no commas, no full stops. All right, so where there's a comma, you take it out. And if there was a full stop, and it is within this um, a sentence comes after, you will just put a space. Here I see Justin Grant has a full stop, I take it off. If it comes at the end, and nothing comes after it, you just continue. All right, now the document will be in double line spacing, and as such, therefore, I need no space between these when I'm typing. So I'm just going to quickly remove them, scanning, looking for punctuation marks. But because you'll be typing a document from scratch, you'll just make this adjustment as you type. So you do not need to do what I'm doing. All right, but I could not sit and type all of this for you. So that's why I'm just modifying a document that already exists. All right. So... And see no more commas, no more full stops. So here's a full stop. 
Remember, no commas, no full stops. All right, this information here and everything starts from the margin. If you realize I have, for example, 10, the numeral 10, either party, and the word terminate starts immediately under that 10. It doesn't start under the E. Everything starts from the left margin. All right, and we're trying, because it's a legal document, the purpose is not to tamper with it. So everything starts at the margin. And later on, you'll see that even at the right margin, we're going to fully justify this, and anything that doesn't go out of the margin, we use the hyphen leader that to take it out there. All right, so this is finished. Right, so I'm going to take a portion of it, and I'm going to copy that. And because the other page is already formatted, I am going to um, just use that while I can format this page again. All right, so here we are, and I'm going to... Control V and paste my information. Alright, so the information is now on the page. I am going to now, wait, let me just quickly see how everything is looking. Now something's. All right, so this is looking okay to the eye. My eyes, all right. So this is what it looks like on the page. Then I'm just going to highlight this, and I'm going to put it in double line spacing. So I'm going to press Control 2 to put it in double line spacing, and that comes down on the page. Yes, it does. Then the next thing I need to do is to ensure that the document currently it is left aligned. So if you see on the right side, a straight line coming down, which is the blue lines, and on the right side, it's in and out, in and out. Everything should be justified, meaning that both left and right margin should be um, straight. So here we have the alignment um, icons, left, center, right, and justify. I'm going to select justify. All right. So once I select justify, the next thing that we need to do is that anything that doesn't come out to the right margin, we use the right leader dot, not the right leader, the hyphen leader dot, sorry, to take it there. So I'm going to press on my hyphen leader dot to take it to the right margin. And I have to go through now and do that for every line that doesn't go out. All right. Now by doing this, we are preventing persons from tampering with the document. All right. All right, so we're going to be doing this. And All right, and you go through the entire document and carry out this um, step. Anything that doesn't go to the margin, use the hyphen leader dot, as I said before, to take it out there. And realize that when I'm pressing the hyphen leader dot, I go straight to the end of the margin. So when it jumps down to the next line, I just easily backspace and get it off, but it's exactly at the, mar um, the margin. Right? Sometimes students will do this and they carry the dot half, the hyphen halfway. Take it out to the end. All right. Take it out to the end. All right. I hate a document that does not look properly formatted. And bear in mind that this is a legal document. Now, this is how it is taught in the subject, and you must know that. But when you actually go out there in the world, some organizations will do their thing different. And so you may get a... a, a contract of employment and you see nothing of the sort but for the subject area this is what we start all right so my page one is now finished all right that's it and i'm just going to quickly do the page two and then come back to you to show you what the finished thing will look like all right so i just attached the second portion to the second page all right, starting from number 8, and so if you realize that this margin is now different, the left margin is 0 0.5, the right margin is 1.5, all right, and 
the information is on the page the justify icon is on which means that everything on the page is justified and anything that doesn't go out to the right margin i would have used my unspaced iphone and i would have taken them out to the right margin all right um, this section here now is for the signing, signature for the employer, signature for the employee. But if you realize I now have, this is not an unspaced icon and I would have explained this in a previous video. Alright, so this is now the full stops for signing to take place on. So for signing to take place, you can either use the full stops or the straight line. But look here now, I have the line and that there is a space between the line and the word. There should not be a space, all right? You never put a space between a line and you, everything should be as one. So I'm going to highlight that and press Ctrl-1 to put it in single line spacing, and that's how it should look, all right? For the signatures to occur. Then I have date and the information that goes there, all right? And that is it. All right, and then this went on to a third page, so I'm just going to try to get off that third page because it is not necessary. Alright, um, i use my hyphen to come out of this page here. Alright, and that is it guys. For some reason this th third page is not coming off. Alright, but it doesn't stop us from continuing the document. Alright, it just means that I will not print that page when it is that I'm printing. Uh, so let me just quickly go to print preview for you to see what this finished document will look like. Alright, All right, so here we are in print preview. Let me zoom up a bit. Alright, so hopefully you're seeing it well from your side. Uh, so it's two, the two pages side by side. Alright, and this is how it should look. Uh, so my left, my first page, the left margin is 1.5, the right is 0 0.5. The information on the page will be printed immediate, on the immediate back of this paper. And so it, the margin is switched around, all right? And so the left margin is now 0 0.5 and the right margin is 1.5. We have the heading, contract of employment, and the name of the candidate. Page 2 should be here for some reason in this um, print preview. I'm not seeing it, but page 2 should be there. And that will be it for the document. All right. Um, do hope that you learned something from this video. If you did, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Also, please share the content with someone who you think will benefit from it. I know it's SBA time and everyone is trying to put together their content. And so this is indeed something for the, um, the EDPM portfolio. So share it with someone who you think will benefit from the content. And also leave a comment below for, to let me know how this video has really impacted you all right and turn on your notification subscribe all right and that you don't miss another video when i upload it all right thanks for watching and see you in my next upload